in a city teeming with hundreds of ancient mosques with a classic Ottoman style, which tends to the huge buildings and the large number of inscriptions and details. Sanjaklar Mosque in Boyok Chekmeje district in a suburb of Istanbul. A mystical spirit humbly mingles in earth and spiritually transcends to heaven. This is the secret of its distinction and its appearance as a mosque with a unique architecture in the midst of all the pomp with which the mosques of all Istanbul are full of. Since 2013, international architectural awards have been awarded to the design of this mosque as one of the most exciting religious innovations of the modern era. As described by the BBC, the mosque was chosen to be on a gentle natural slope within a hill overlooking the valley and the lake on an area of 1,300 square meters. The mosque with its cavernous design is hardly visible from the top of the hill except when getting close to it, where its rectangular stone minaret transcends, which is unique in its design unlike the traditional cylindrical minarets, to declare with the phrase Allahu Akbar, a mosque in perfect harmony with the nature below. The upper area of the hill was exploited as a car park for worshippers. They walk out through a green meadow, which is in fact the roof of the mosque. They descend with the hill through a stepped corridor down where the entrance to the mosque the paved stone walkway intertwined with the natural floor leads to the main courtyard where multiple entrances to the mosque, the external prayer hall and the imam's residence are located on its banks along the outer portico that serves the design strategy of the Sanjaklar Mosque, exploiting the elements of the environment and nature and soften the harness of the stone surrounding. And I believe that uh, this kind of an uh, experience was kind of unique and when you reach to the building uh, you are like experienced a passage, uh, a natural passage and then you come to a specific place. So this is, with this in your mind you go inside and then it's a totally different world, it's a totally different space. Uh, you are now you are out of the, your, the the outer space and then you are alone. We are like uh, a bit uh, meditated, if you want. Uh, that was the that was our aim to to create this kind of a path and then putting this uh, uh, car park uh, a bit far away from the main structure. The architectural design strategy of the mosque varied in its distance from the historical nostalgia for the familiar shapes of mosques. However, at the same time, it came very close to the idea of Hira Cave. This forced the use of two types of structures, notable traditional structure in the minaret, library, tea cafe and funeral yard and another innovative structure resembling a cave that is the prayer hall in the mosque which it's hollow is the only scene to see it as an architectural block. From the inside, the worshippers live a new experience of feelings of detachment and humility that the steps of the outer slope paved the way for. Then the presence of the prayer hall, also in a low place, that requires going down a few internal steps, what seems like an additional innovation to more human humility in this place. It is a profound mystical contradiction, which imposes renunciation as a path to transcendence reach to some point which will be like very specific uh, to the to the context and the, at the same time very specific to the to the idea of, of uh, humility or let's say uh, humbleness in Islam which is one of the main issues in Islamic uh, philosophy because in our days we always see that in Islamic architecture I mean Islamic architecture is passing through some uh, some difficult ways, some dangerous ways. It's the, it's the danger of uh, uh, losing the main idea of Islam, of the philosophy, and is the, the danger of, uh, 
or being always or trying always to reach to something which is uh, very much shishi or very much, uh, let's say, uh, expressive and the, uh, expensive looking as well. Everything in the interior design embodies simplicity with a local material that imposed itself on its nature. An open space free of obstacles and columns, concrete front wall. In front of it is a wall which lighting shows its stone protrusions and gradations. All this space and this area, free from the tinsel of the Ottoman Empire, induces where shepherds here only for meditation and reverence. This is helped by the intelligent and thoughtful exploitation of light and shadow technology and its distribution throughout the whole to achieve several functional and aesthetic purposes. The natural adornment is the natural daylight that seeps along the Qibla wall to highlight it as a single element containing the whole through the extended skylight. The light changes, of course, depending on the time of day. The design used the tilt of the Qibla wall and its breaking near the Mahrab to enhance the direction of the Qibla and to expand the space as well. The vaulted ceiling was built with special scaffolding to lighten the concrete structure of 30 centimeter concrete connected to bridges that allow a hollow area between them through which technical equipment can pass. In addition, this becomes a structural support for the loading of soil and vegetation on the green surface that provides the advantage of heat loss and gain, as well as carrying erosion factors such as rain and snow and the direct load of users above. I know that uh... It is one of the most criticized part, one of the most criticized part of the structure. Uh, but I can say that it's one of the other ornaments, maybe ornamented elements as well. Uh, but the reason of this form was first a structural reason because uh, we were discussing with our structural engineer and then it was easier for us to form this uh, columnless, I mean uh, legless uh, space with this kind of a structure which is thin on the uh, on on the middle uh, area and the thicker on the on the sides so it was easier to to create something like this some steps like that uh, on the other hand uh, it's like the negative of the garden uh, which is under uh, up up of this uh, ceiling and the one of the other reason was the acoustics with, the, with our acoustical uh, engineering engineers, we did some calculations, and then this was perfect uh, to have a to have a nice uh, uh, <clears throat> acoustics there. So, in a way, it was a very I mean, this form was coming with some very pragmatic, uh, let's say, solutions. But at the end of the day, it looks like an ornament, which makes me quite happy about that. The prayer hall also contained a unique element, which is an amphitheater at the end of it that allows worshippers to sit comfortably while listening to the sermon. This mosque deserved attention not only to its architectural uniqueness, the novelty of the design idea and the genius of merging with nature, but also because it returned with the philosophy of worship itself to the manifestations of its first simplicity and its most important descents.